And in Austin, police there are investigating the shooting death of a protester. We are learning more about the man's ties to DFW. CBS 11's JD Miles has been looking into it and also has a statement from the family of Garrett Foster. Garrett Foster's sister has posted a message defending her brother's actions and insisting he did nothing to provoke the shooting despite being armed with a rifle. Gunshots rang out in downtown Austin on Saturday night during a Black Lives Matter protest. It was the latest in a series of protests that 28 year old Garrett Foster and his wife or fiance, Tiffany Mitchell, have been taking part in. Foster was carrying an AK 47 around his neck when witnesses say a car came close to the crowd of marchers. Witnesses say there was a confrontation with the driver who opened fire, shooting Foster three times. He died at a hospital. The driver fled but later called police and told them Foster pointed his rifle. That's something Foster's sister took issue with, posting on Facebook, the man was there with intent to hurt someone. My brother died trying to protect the love of his life. My brother was not a monster. He was innocent in this. Ironically, minutes before the shooting, Foster was interviewed by a reporter about why he brought a weapon to the march. Oh, it's uh, AK-47. Uh, why you got it out tonight? They don't let us march in the streets anymore, so I've got to practice some, some of our rights. Do you feel like you're going to need to use it? No, I think the, uh, I mean, if I use it against the cops, I'm dead. The head of the Austin Police Association tweeted the video with the message that Foster was looking for a confrontation and he found it. An online fundraising campaign has already raised more than $108,000 for Tiffany Mitchell, who Foster was either married or engaged to. She was the subject of a CBS 11 News profile back in 2013 with her inspiring story of surviving sepsis, which led to the amputation of all of her limbs. Mitchell was in a wheelchair at the protest near Foster when he was shot. At last check, Austin police have not arrested the unidentified shooter who was claiming self-defense. That person and Foster both reportedly had licenses to carry guns. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.